when there are celebrities. I mean, remember all that commotion when Julia Shante and Chris Atto bought their mansion in London? And teenagers everywhere, they eat fufu and Kelly Welly, listen to high life music, imitating Ghanaian culture to be cool. But it's not Ghana's fault. They didn't choose to be this world dominant culture and they don't all have apartments like that in Accra. I've been there. It's sort of like the soap operas, but look, it's mom who's from there. I was born in this tiny city called Washington, D.C. It's the capital of America. Anyway, um, well, we moved back to the we moved back to the we moved back to England when I was a baby. Then again to the states when I was seven or five. Then I moved back to London when I was a teenager, and I made zero sacrifices when I moved to Berlin. I come from a relatively young country, but you haven't heard of it. It's called. America. I come from this really small country, but I know you haven't heard of it because it's called England. <laughs> Anyways, well, I was sort of wondering, I've gotten really curious, well, what do people all around the world think about us? When you hear America, when you hear England, what do you think about? <laughs> Have the rest of you ever thought about? Do you even know where it is? <sighs> No, that's okay. You haven't heard of it. Well, you know where Mexico is. Okay, great. USA? It is totally by Mexico. You know where North America is kind of shaped? Well, the states, they're the bit here. No? No, of course you haven't heard of it. England? Well, it's kind of like off of Europe. No, no, not that bit. That's Italy. Look, it doesn't matter, but you should go. The people are really friendly. What's it like? Oh, well, in my country, um, uh, we have all these hobbies and, and rituals, like there's this thing we do called uh, going to prom. <laughs> and, and then there's other things like going to a keg party. <laughs> um, it's very common for young women to drink many Aperol spritzes and then be sick outside the train station. <laughs> but it's also common for young men to drink really big pints of ale and then miss their last train. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you want to hear about, I'm amazed that you even care about um, my country. Yeah. Why did I move to Berlin? Oh, I'm here to take the women. Oh, and I'm here to take the men. Oh, and I have no desire to integrate. But that's okay, because they don't care. My country, maybe you've heard of it. It's called American. It's called England. Oh, we speak English there. You speak English too? <laughs> you learned it in school and then you never used it. Well, it's not a very useful language. I mean, if you're not in England, if you're not in America, I mean, it is a funny language. It's not so easy to learn. In my country, we learn English from a very young age. <laughs> and then around age six or eight, sometimes we also learn uh, English and English. Hey, <laughs> loads of us speak English, 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 and English, so we all at least speak English and English fluently. Maybe you can help me. I'm trying to find work in Berlin, Germany, and my German is terrible, but I don't think that's going to be a problem looking for work in a German company, only I don't even want a desk job. I actually don't really want to work. Can you help me? We should all stay in touch. Oh, let me know if you ever want to visit my country. <laughs>